Hello all, welcome back. This is Christopher Dina from Trinity Software. In this video, we are going to see how to build an alarm clock using Python TK Inter. Let us see the steps for building an alarm clock. First, we need to import the required models. Then, we will be creating a main application window. And I am going to create a class called alarm app. And inside the class alarm app, we have four methods. Init method, setting the alarm and stopping the alarm. And one more method called update time. Okay, we will see this in detail now. So, we need three models in our application. TK Inter, Time and WinSound model. TK Inter is for building the GUI application. Time model is for the representing the time. We need to know the current time in order to build an alarm clock. So, time model is required and WinSound is to produce the alarm sound. Okay, all these models are inbuilt. We need not install anything explicitly. And then after this we are going to create the main application window by creating an instance for the TK class. I have named it as R and then we can set the title for the root window and set as alarm clock and we can also set the width and height of the application. Here I have given the width and height as 450 into 450. It is up to you. You can change the width and height. And in order to make the root window displayed we need to call this method r.mainloop and this must be the last line of the program. In between we need to place the class and its corresponding methods. Okay, so this will be the final output. We have a title alarm clock and then the current date. We also have the current time, alarm name and alarm time. We have this entry widgets. We can give an alarm name and we can enter the alarm time here. And there are three buttons set alarm, dismiss and close. Okay. So once the current time reaches input alarm time, the alarm will be ringing. So when the alarm is ringing, we also have this message alarm and the alarm name which the user has entered. So the alarm will be ringing continuously. Only if you press the dismiss button, the alarm will be turned off. And close is to close the complete application. So this is what we are going to design. So for this, inside the class alarm app, we are going to create and place UI elements. What are the labels required in our app? This title and then date, time label and here alarm name and alarm time label and one more label called status. And two entry widgets, one for getting the alarm name and another for getting the input alarm time. And then three buttons, one for setting the alarm, next for stopping the alarm and then the last one is for closing the application. So here inside the class we are placing the attributes. I am using both the class attributes as well as the instance attributes. So class attributes are the variables that are shared between all instances whereas instance attributes are the variables which are specific for that particular instance and it is not shared among instances. So in this case time label these entry widgets alarm name entry input alarm entry and also the status label these are all declared as instance attributes. In order to declare something as instance attribute we have to give self dot the attribute name okay. All these things are placed in the init method. So init method will be called automatically whenever an instance is created. So this is what we have seen already. Modules and then the main application window is created. Class alarm app. Creating and placing the UI elements. And I am using grid method here. Grid geometry manager of TK Inter is used to represent the data in a two dimensional format. That is in terms of rows and columns. Okay. So I got the current date and it is placed in this date label and as I already mentioned this clock label that is the time label is made as an instance attribute so I have used self dot and for alarm name and input alarm entry widget as well as for the status I have used self parameter to denote that it is an instance attribute okay okay fine next method is set alarm method to get the alarm name from the user and also the alarm time from the user using the entry widgets. After this current local time, we are using strf time function of time module. So this strf time will return a string which represents the time using this time object. A while loop is given with the condition till the local time is not equal to alarm time. We are retrieving the local time that is the current time, and I am calling this method called update. That is the root window. Take enter dot update method. So this will be updating the window 
whenever an event occurs. So it is used to show the updated screen. It reflects whenever the event occurs. After this, we are updating the status label. That is, initially the text is empty. Now the text is made as alarm and then the alarm name which the user has entered. And we are using play sound method of win sound module. So play sound method takes two arguments. The first argument is the file name. It should be it only wave files. So here clock column dot wave file. I have just downloaded this wave file. Okay. Note that I have placed this clock alarm dot wave in the same location where this alarm clock Python file is placed. Okay. And then the second argument, this means that we need to play the alarm clock sound repeatedly. So I am using sound loop and sound asynchronous. And then we have two more methods called stop function. This is to stop the alarm sound. So play sound takes two arguments. First argument is none and second argument is sound file name. And finally we have this update time. We are getting the current time using strf time. And then we are updating this text of the clock label. So this will be updated using this after function. So we will be using this after function to run after a certain time. So this 1000 represents 1000 milliseconds that is after every one second this function will be called. So self.update time so this is a recursive function and the first time this function will be called here. Once the clock label is placed inside this root window we are calling this update time function okay so that's it with the methods of class alarm app then i am creating an instance for alarm app class app and finally we are calling the main loop function so that the application window runs okay so execute it now so i can give any alarm name let me just give hello any name can be given so 22 hours, minutes and second. So let me give 55. So current time is getting updated for every second. So let me give set alarm now. Press this button set alarm. Okay and wait for the alarm to ring. Only after pressing the dismiss button, this repeated sound, alarm sound will be turned off. Okay. So this is how a simple alarm clock has been built using Python. And you can also close this application using the close button. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, kindly share and subscribe.